All right. This is my old Chevrolet. You call it Johnny Cash truck. It's made up of uh, about 12 different uh, Chevy and uh, GMC squares. It's got a high Sierra 2500 fender. It's actually a Chevrolet K10, uh, 1982, I believe. So at any rate, I got my wheels wheel blocked. We're not going anywhere. It's in neutral. E-brake is off. And I've used my floor jack to bring the tire just barely off the ground. I, I mean, it's just, just high enough to where this is going to move. I've marked off where I want to put my studs. And I have the stud installation tool, two little prongs in my drill. And I'm going to put the stud where I want it on the tire. Press on it. Wait till the teeth disappear on the installation tool. And it's on. Let's get a close up of that. Okay. So now I've got a stud sticking out and it is not going to penetrate into the tread. So here we are with uh, a stud and every other lug and uh, we'll test this out. If we need more, we'll put more in. If not, we'll keep it as is. Now, a lot of you will say that uh, that's not enough studs to make a difference. Well, it is. And uh, But like I said, if it's not, then we'll add some more. I'm not going ice racing, so I don't need to cover this thing like a porcupine. But uh, these little studs, they go a long way when it's icy. Have a good day. Be safe. And uh, check out my other videos for uh, engine building tips, little techniques, how to fix stuff in your own garage without a lot of fancy tools. Have a good day. Here's some uh, studs I screwed in a couple years ago. They've uh, maintained their depth. They've not uh, buried themselves and given me a flat. They've not uh, flown out of there and given someone else a flat. Watch one of my other videos for how to uh, install your uh, studs and what is a stud and what is not a stud. So uh, check out my channel for uh, more good stuff. Like and, and subscribe if you like what you see. Like and subscribe or I'll set this fella loose in your garage. <laughs>